you performed sorry at very many events right yeah have you ever been mistreated I wouldn't say mistreated. Mm-hmm. I'd say I um I learned to keep my expectations really low. Actually, oh, really? all DJs have learned to keep the expectations really low. Why is that? Because what you do is you show up, play your set, and bounce. We don't expect hospitality tents. We don't expect uh, on, any kind of treatment. Yeah. Um, okay. You you're just here to make money. Uh, me as long as I'm paid, I know like all these problems arise there because I've seen them happening. Right. And I can't expect some kind of um, dismissal when you're there. Mm-hmm. And it's not just this particular event. It's many events that are out there. I came to realize whenever an artist is brought over to an event. The DJs are always like neglected. You be, you become second fiddle. Mm-hmm. So when that happens, we just learned to go with this, you know, take it in stride and just Okay. But I want to just sorry. Yeah. What exactly is okay. the problem? Th- three problems. Number 1, it's budget. Number 2, it's mother row. Mm-hmm. And number 3, it's uh, whoever's organizing the event. One, if it's budget, you'll find that um, the organizer won't have enough money to cater for these guys for the backstage access and everything. Yeah. That's why I'm like, manage expectations. They always have a technical rider. And it's the thing is, a lot of these events are being organized by people who are just trying to come up and make uh, you know some money. So if they ha- have a problem with budget, of course, they're going to suffer uh, in terms of the, the, you know, of the organization. And the most important thing really people need to look out for is am I getting my money fast? Yeah. But that doesn't saying, I'm not saying that it qualifies that kind of uh, mistreatment. I'm just tel- mm-hmm. telling you the At kind of problem you have. Mistreatment not going to do. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> too. The secondly, actually, it's Mother Rao. Mm. When Mother Rao is it's there when you're seeing the local art, uh, Kenyan artist has come and your uh, international actors has come and you're around this guy. It, it's there. It's It's been seen and unfortunately, time and time again, it keeps replicating its face. And the thing uh, uh, that people need to do is call out these promoters who actually do this. You know, mm-hmm. artists need to have a proper technical rider. When I come, this is what I expect to have. Yeah. On. Like you should see someone like Calligraph's technical rider. It's ridiculous. But it's because he's gone through all this uh, rubbish that goes on to the industry. Right. So that to you know a level of like, I mean, expectations that when you come to for, for your event. Yeah. That one, of course, is people who are using your name. I use your name to get crowd into my event. Mm-hmm. Then I just dismiss you. I don't even bother, um, you know, following up with your payments and everything. It's just what you do. It's it's just uh, good practices in the industry. How can we change this then? Always pe- be prepared in terms of your technical rider as an artist. Also, don't come across as being desperate. Right. You see, guys will be like, oh. Mm. Now, uh, I don't really have to... I, I can wait to see if they'll give me these uh, provisions. You okay. see? 